my gun. We have a red light still over here. Go. You're like, let's keep the light. Oh. Hello! Welcome to the stream! It's me, Jeff. I'm by myself tonight, except for these guys. I got Scotty back here, right there. And then I got Joe Myers back here. He raised his hand as if anyone can see him, but they can't because he's behind the camera. Anyway, um, thank you all for joining us. This is um, We have an action-packed show for you tonight, I guess, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, First off, if you are not a Pullbox member, go ahead and shoot us, shoot us an email at pullbox at revengeof.com. We'll get you all signed up. Uh, if you see anything you like, you can shop online at revengeof.com. And as always, feel free to drop something in the chat if you want us to pull something for you or hold on to it or whatever. Um, I don't know if you guys tuned in last week or was it a couple weeks ago? We asked everyone to vote for us at the Diamond um, Better Business Practice Awards or whatever it's called. Anyway, we won all of them. <laughs> We won all the awards, turns out. Well, not all of them. All the ones that we were nominated for. So we got three of them. So thank you guys for voting, if you voted. Um, and if not, next time you can vote for us and we'll win more awards, I guess. Anyway, uh, let's get started, right? Yeah. What do you think? I've actually, you know, believe it or not, I, I think I've read an alarming amount of comics that are we're talking about tonight. So I don't want you to be like put off, Scott, by how much knowledge I have. But uh, let's start off with something I haven't read. <laughs> uh, from Marvel, we got issue number eight of X Men Red. X Men Red. We got two covers here. What's this going? What's going on in X Men Red, Scott? Are you reading this one? They're on Mars. They're on Crazy Mars still. Axe stuff's happening. They're still on Mars. Good thing that Axe situation is over with. What's the, what was the resolution with that? Don't know yet. I don't know yet? Before. We're waiting for Omega. Oh god. Well, we don't know what happened with that yet. Alright, let's hit for X-Men. Woo! Alright, next up. IDW. We got issue number three of Transformers Shattered Glass 2. Transformers. That's uh, Transformers 3 Shattered Glass 2. This is issue number three of Transformers Shattered Glass 2. We got two covers. That one and that one. Look at them just transforming. Transforming into things that they're, I don't know. Whatever, <laughs> it's Transformers. You get it. All right, next up, this is a, I assume this is a key comic. I'm not entirely sure, you tell me. Usually they're highlighted, so I can say this is a key comic, but not this week. We're doing things a little different. <laughs> and? <laughs> yes. All right, this is a key comic. This next one. This is issue number one from Marvel. This one's called Tiger Division. So, now, from what I understand, this is basically BTS does the Avengers. Yes? I don't know if there's any singing involved. But, like, in terms of them being, like, a... South Korean pop band? Pop group. <laughs> no? Uh, yeah, who knows? They are the South Korean Avengers, though, right? They are, yes. All right. Well, we've got four covers here. This is probably a good collector's, right? Because it's like, I mean, this isn't their first appearance, though, no? You know, I think they have been introduced individually. I think this is the first time they've gotten together in their own comic. Uh, oh, is that? Is this a Momoko? I think so. Oh, Peach Momoko does Tiger. So, no. This is called Tiger Division. Scott, you like this one? Did you gonna read this? Uh, this is probably better. I like this one better. Ooh, this this cover is pretty cool. Who's that? I don't know the character, but that's an art term. Is she from Blackpink? I don't think so. <laughs> Which I one is she in BTS? <laughs> Could be wrong. Anyway, Tiger Division. Seems pretty cool. I'm here for it. Issue one. Collectors, I'm sure, right? We're gonna want that. Uh, all right, first up in the Scott Roberts Pick of the Week category, this is issue number 19. I didn't realize it was 19 already. Of uh, That Texas Blood. We got two covers. Am I right, Scott? Yeah. Ooh-wee. Yeah. Ooh-wee. 
put that on my shelf of, of things to recommend, he says. Anyway, there's two covers. What's going on in this thing? Hunting serial killer. Hunting serial killers. All right. Sounds good. I like that. That one's from Image, by the way. I'm all discombobbed right now. It's because I'm all by myself. I don't have my co-host to, to help with. But that's okay. We'll bring him back next week. We're just trying to, you know, save a little bit on the OT. You know what I'm saying? Uh, anyway, next up from IDW. This is issue number two. Issue number two of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Saturday Morning Adventures. Issue number two. We got three covers. We got this one. It's a pretty cool cover. Oh, Terry Metalis joined us in the chat. We haven't even gotten to the good stuff yet. Scary T? Scary Terry. Be careful. This might turn into a Terry podcast. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Issue number two. Only three tweets are from this. <laughs> All right. Next up from DC. We got issue number four of six. Big, big hit this one is. Big, big hit. Uh, Sword of Azrael. Anybody reading that here? You reading this one, Scott? Negative. Negative, he says. He's not reading it. He who dwells below. We got two covers. Issue number four of six. Sword of Azrael from DC. We're burning through them today. We're burning through them like Scott burns through cash. Rude. Just kidding. You can't pass cash. Uh, all right. Next up in the stuff I'm reading category, this is uh, issue number four of four, the epic finale of Dark Horse from Dark Horse, Survival Street. I gotta be honest. I thought the third issue was a little boring. What did you think? I'm curious to see where it wraps up. Yeah, I'm curious to see how it ends. But third issue was a little boring. It's the puppets, they're killing each other. Uh, they say, do you guys by chance have any TMNT, the last Ronin by the comics, not the book version? No. No. Unfortunately, they're sold out. Only the book. Uh, here, throw this in my stack, please. It's Rival Street, Puppets Kill the Puppets, Finale, Dark Horse, issue number 4 4. <laughs> Alright, next up from Marvel, we've got this one's a big hit. In the shop. Big, 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 big hit, this one is. Uh, issue number five of. How many? Uh, I don't think there's a limit on it, actually. Oh, it's just gonna keep going. Anyway, the uh, comic retelling of Mandalorian season one, issue number five. We've got two, two covers here. A lot of these are in pull boxes already. Big, big hit in those pull boxes. Big, big hit. Oh, such a big hit. And we got that one too. These are decent covers, I guess. This one's pretty cool. We only have one copy left of this cover. This is like the cover you want, right? Oh, look at the back of that. Coming soon. Oh, coming soon? What? You're da? Anyway, Mandalorian, issue number five. Next up, we've got, also from Marvel, issue number 29 of Star Wars. Issue 29. We got three covers here. They always do a really cool vintage toy cover. This is lit. This is cool too. The vintage toy cover is my favorite. It's got uh it's got Kira Knightley on the cover. Look at that. Right? No? No one's gonna laugh at that joke? That's not that's not Kira. That's not Kira Knightley, that's Natalie Portman. Kira Knightley played her double. Sade, who's in Star Wars. And then she went on to play the cool movie. Anyway, Star Wars issue 29. <laughs> Boop. Did I skip one? Yep. What did I skip? Burning Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I skipped a Star War. This is also for Marvel. What is this? Your viewing schedule? This is also issue 28. Or, sorry, this is 28. The other one was 29. Uh, Star Wars Bounty Hunters. It's a fun cover. You know that one? And we got this one. And last but not least, we got this one. What is this variant called? Because it looks similar to the Star Wars one. Oh, you know they're doing like a 40th anniversary uh, from a bunch of different movies? I don't know that that's, I guess it's a Star Trek back, but. Okay. 
It's pretty cool. Cool Issue number 28, Star Wars Bounty Hunters. All right. I don't know if this Metallus is still with us, but uh, up next we got, I, from IDW, issue number three, Star Trek Picard, Stargazer. This is the uh, series that bridges the gap between season two and season three, I've been told. Mm, haven't read it, but I'm sure it's great. People are loving it. People are really into that Star Trek, you know? Picard especially. <laughs> Season three, we got a whole podcast to just, uh, you know, talk about that thing. <laughs> anyway, move on. That was the first page. We're chugging. Next up, for Marvel, we got issue number seven. People were asking about this one last week. They're saying, hey, when am I going to get another She-Hulk? The answer is right now. Issue number seven of She-Hulk. Is this a blinds variant? No. No? No. But there's blinds. Dark oh, blinds. But that's a uh, uh, Jen Bartel cover. She does not do the blinds cover. She doesn't do the blinds covers? No. All right. Well, it looks like blinds cover me. Uh, then we got a Miracle Man variant here. Miracle Man. Oh, Me Man? Yeah, Me Man. Is this going to, are we going to be subjected to Miracle Man covers now for the entire run of Miracle Man? No. No? Uh, maybe delay covers. She hope. There's always that up. Never Sally. Woo! All right, I'm excited about this next one, actually. Oh yeah? I'm gonna have to take a gander at this one. Also, some good covers. This is uh, from Marvel, Key Comic. Here, put that in my box. Uh, Secret Invasion, issue one. Secret Invasion, I assume this is to get us all lubed up for the series, yeah? You know? Probably. Right. Look at that dude right there. He looks funny in this. Oh no, the knock headshots. He, he looks like um, um, the hot criminal guy. Remember that? Hot no, shot guy? No. But like, with an eye patch? You know what I'm talking about, right? We got uh, four covers. Am I, do we have incentives that I'm glossing over? That no, you're not getting not secret invasion. Uh, this is my favorite, though. Oh, wait, good. Actually, this is our first incentive. Um, this is a uh, Scotty Young cover. That's Scotty Young cover. Scotty, what you know about this cover? Probably you know Scotty Young. Probably 27 books this okay. Oh. Oh. We do have... We've glossed over all kinds of incentive covers. One. <laughs> There's this one. <laughs> this is a uh, one in 25? One in 10? Yeah, that's one in 25. That's pretty sick. I'm here for it. And then we got this uh, Tiger Division. That we glossed right over. No time of day. It's because it's a glossy bag, you know? No time of day. Anyway, Long term savings. Secret Invasion, issue number one. Whoa! It's a floppy stack. That's a, that's a floppy stack. Uh, all right, next up from Marvel, again, we got issue number seven of uh, Savage Avengers 2099. Yeah. Are they crossing over with a uh, little Sp Spider-Man? I believe this is uh, not Spider-Man, but I believe they are crossing over with characters from that. Well, Spider-Man 2099 basically introduced like a 2099 version of literally every character. It was kind of stupid. <gasps> I read the whole thing. I read the whole thing. Good, because it comes out tonight in Trade Paperman. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Savage Avengers issue number seven. 2099. They're in the future. All right, I cheated a little bit. I read some new stuff today. First up in the things that I read was this little ditty. From Dark Horse, this is uh, issue number one of Quick Stops. I read this. Floppy Stack was my nickname in high school, Kermit Munster says. Mine too! <laughs> so it stops. Uh, Quick Stops. So this is an anthology series of uh, U.S. Universe mm. Tales. This one happens to be, I'm assuming they're all in black and white, but this one happens to be um, Ben Affleck's character from Chasing Amy. Oh. And he's at like Comic-Con. Is it period specific or has I think each one is like 
following up on characters. So this one talks about how he created Blunt Man and Chronic, mm. which everyone is just like dying to know. <laughs> you know. Thank God we got some answers finally. Um, he was there is a joke in here that I'm just gonna go ahead and spoil. <gasps> he says um, they're talking about how there's gonna be a Netflix series based on Chasing Amy because that was like his comic mm -hmm. in the movie Chasing Amy, but they wanted to change the title to be more male centric. And his name is Holden, and they want to change it to Holden that dick. Quick stops. <laughs> Issue number one. I was like, that's clever. Yeah. Eh. Uh, all right, speaking of that, dick. <laughs> Next up, um, for Marvel, issue number seven of Punisher. Punisher. Is that Daredevil on the cover? Yeah. Sure is. You reading Punisher? Well, Bond. Oh, well, Not Bond. bad. Issue number seven, Punisher. Um, what's the other title, the other Punisher title? Is that the one you're reading? Punisher is the Journal Brother. Oh. War Journal Brother. He said it like, um, like a pro wrestler. Uh, all right. Next up, I'm reading this one. I'm excited about this. Ooh, this is a cool cover. Uh, this is from Marvel issue number four of Predator. Predator. I'm liking this one so far. Like, I'm usually, usually Alien comes out around the same time, and I read them both. And I always like the Predator issue better than the Alien issue. Alien one is all about, like, androids or whatever. And, this one's like, I don't know. It's cool. Caliber. Still haven't seen Prey. Caliber of writers. Oh, better writers. Oh, there you go. Well, who's this? Who does this cover? Uh, the cover of the sure. Sakai? Stan Sakai. Uh, okay. Creator of Usagi Yojimbo. Oh, okay. Oh. Whatever that means. Uh, put that in my box. Predator, issue number four. Somebody came in this weekend and bought all the other Predators leading up to it. Ooh, and enough. I didn't know that number four was coming out. Otherwise, I would have said, come on back. We'll give you number four. Uh, all right, next up, this is the final issue of this little diggy, diggy. <laughs> this little teddy. This is issue five of five of Potions, Inc. from Mad Cave. Anyone read this? No? All right. Potions, Inc., issue five. There's a potion shop. Something like that. I don't know. Uh, all right. Next up from DC. Always good covers here with this one. This is issue number six. Uh, it doesn't say limited, no? They, uh, it is no longer a limited series. Oh, it was a limited series. It was a limited series. And now they're like, screw it. Why stop here? Why limit ourselves? You know? Uh, all right, then. Uh, next up in the unlimited series, issue number six, Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy. The art is pretty cool. That's great. Like this one's especially, you know? You're gonna have to read that A cover. What? It's pretty cool. I'm here for it. Poison Ivy. It's Poison Ivy, issue number six, ongoing series. I've heard. All right. Oh, next up, I read this one. I'm not, gonna, I'm not saying it's bad, but it was my least favorite of the things that I read today, which I only read five things, four things maybe. Um, but this is uh, issue number one from Dark Horse of The Ones from Brian Michael Bendis. What's he famous for, X-Men? Oh my God, Miles Morales. Oh, Miles Morales. And uh, <laughs> Naomi <laughs> and Point Powers. 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 All right, anyway, uh, Brian Michael Bendis, The Ones. This is like, uh, these are a bunch of like old superheroes or just, I don't know. They're all chosen ones. Right, they're all chosen ones and they all have superpowers and they're brought together to like, for a reason, by a person. And they don't know which one is the one of the ones. Well, no. That's not quite, but sort of. Anyway, the ones. It was a good read. It, the art's pretty cool, I'll say. Um, it was interesting. It's kind of one of those things where you're like, who's this character? Like, it's all new characters, so you're yeah. like, huh? I don't know. The ones. You gonna read that one? Yes. Scott's gonna read it. Uh, all right. Next up, from what is this? From, from Image Comics. This is issue number two. This one's got Scott Roberts written all over it. 
kind of looks like this character. Uh, issue number two of Old Dog. Old Dog. This is the, what is it, like an assassin thing? Uh, former CIA agent roped back former into the CIA. CIA roped back in. Just when he thought they were, he was out. Let's rope back in. They got really good covers, though. Yeah. I'm down with the art. I'm not super crazy about the, the top half. But I get what they're doing. It's like a redacted situation because it's top secret. It's like top secret doc mat, right? Yeah. Anyway, it's got a good feel to it. It's one of those, like, not. Not very good. Very good. Really? It's an issue three? Two. Yeah, it's a three issue mini series. Can we call it a penultimate when there's only three issues? It seems like cheating. It's, it just is. It just seems like cheating. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you aren't already a Pullbox member, go ahead and uh, go ahead us and shoot us an email at pullbox at revengeof.com. We'll get you all signed up. And go ahead and shop online at revengeof.com. Buy all these things and more. And if you see anything you like, let us know. We'll hold it for you. Hermit Monster says, is there any issue ones of Old Dog? I believe so. I believe so. Yeah. Yeah, Scott says. There is. We got those. All right, next up. Ooh, I'm excited. I did not read this today because I'm going to savor it. I'm going to draw a warm bath, <laughs> light a candle, you know, drink some hot apple cider, and enjoy Night of the Ghoul. Issue number two. This was, uh, of the, like, you know, show Halloween down our throats comics we've had for the last four weeks, this is probably my favorite. I think Scott would agree with that. Speaking of which, Halloween is over. Can you even believe it? It feels like it's been going on for 16 years. It's November? It's November 1st. Thank God. Now I can focus on things that really matter, like... Nut and cool. Nut and cool. We still have candy, though. If you guys want free candy, you can swing on by and we'll give you a Kit Kat. <laughs> or a Rolo. Or a Rolo. An individually wrapped Rolo. Yellow. Which I guess they're already individually wrapped, but you know what I mean. Yeah, you that Rolo. Anyway, yeah. all right, next goal, issue or two. That was, uh, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm gonna show it one more time. Oop, it's going on in my box, or in my pile. All right, oh, you missed. Oh, I missed. How am I supposed to know this is here? All right, sorry. We got an incentive cover for the ones. This is a uh, one in 10? Yeah. Yeah, we got two of them. What? All right. All right, next up. Next up from DC. Ooh, another penultimate, if you will. Three of four also seems like cheating, but whatever. Uh, this is the new champion of Shazam. When is that movie coming out? Probably right after The Flash. I think like March or something stupid. <laughs> anyway, new champion of Shazam. Issue three or four. Oh man, I just lost like six viewers after I talked about, I talked disparagingly about Halloween. It wasn't that I don't like it, I'm just saying. I'm ready to like watch a Christmas movie already. Okay, next up. Oh, this is a Scott Roberts pick, I feel like. Always with the good cover. This is the finale. Or no, it's not. I'm wrong. It's like she's six of nine. Uh, of Neverender from Sumerian, formerly Behemoth. Never under. Really good covers with these ones. We got this guy. And we got this guy. Scott, did you already choose your cover on this? Not yet. Which one are you going for? Don't choose the wrong one. Red. Yeah. That's what I thought. It's orange, but yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry. All right. Blame it on the neon, on the pink neon side. All right. Next up. I didn't read this one. This is an issue one. Sounds interesting. From Mad Cave. This one's called Nature's Labyrinth. This is, sounded like, um, basically like, uh, what's that Katniss Everdeen thing? Hunger Games? Hunger Games. Is it not? Hmm. Is it not? I haven't read it. It's kind of like, it's an island, and then it's like a battle royale situation. I don't know. Here for it. Here for it. Nature's Labyrinth. We only had two copies, because the rest were full boxes. Get it while it's hot. You might only have one because Connor probably picked that. Hmm. Anyway, uh, moving along, we got the Lucas pick of the week, even though he's not here. I'm going to just go ahead and go out on a limb. It is. It's on a shelf oh, already. It's on a shelf. Nailed it. I pay attention. Uh, IDW, issue number six, My Little Pony. My Little Pony. I don't know what to say about My Little Pony. 
I assume that friendship is still magic, right? I I mean, I did, if it's not, I missed the memo. All right. Well, if you're dying to find out, we got issue number six, Milo Pony. I'm sure Lucas can explain it more in depth. Okay. Next up, we've got, from DC, issue number eight of the limited series, eight of 12. See, that's a limited series. Although 12 doesn't seem very limited. I feel like six is a good limited number. Nine. Nine seems also a little excessive. 12 to me is like, that's not limited. Maxi series. You know, and three, that's not even a series. That's just like a story. It's, just, episode. it's like a shorty that they just chopped into thirds. Anyway, uh, issue number eight, Monkey Prince, DC. We got two covers. This one and this one. Not sure what's going on here, but it looks like maybe he's like also Aquaman now. I believe he and Aquaman had a little bit of a crossover in the last one. Monkey Prince and Aquaman, toe to toe, paw to pin. <laughs> oh god. All right. Next up, this one's a big, big hit. I'll tell you that much. Oh yeah. Yeah. From uh, one of Scott's favorite favorite writers, Jeff Lemire, who also writing. The Black Orchard 10,000 Feather thing. I read that yesterday. Couldn't tell you what it was about. Uh, issue number seven of uh, Little Monsters. I think big hit this one is. Little Monsters. Issue number seven. We've got two covers. You reading Little Monsters? Oh, yeah. Of course he is. New arc. Good starting point. Oh, new arc. So if you're looking to join in, and also, if you're Maybe looking at the first arc, we have it in trade. Well, we've got the first arc as well. We've got all kinds of arcs. We've got Noah's arc, for love's sake. Anyway, monkey, oh, that was like, little monsters. All right, next up, final issue from Sumerian. Issue number 44. Always with a good cover on this one. Or Sumerian in general, I guess. Kingdom Come, Deliverance. We got three covers here. That one. This one. This one's probably my favorite. I like it. I like that the art goes edge to edge on this particular cover, while the other ones have a little bit of a <laughs> border to them. It's just why I prefer it. I'm not saying it's the best one. I'm just saying I like this one. You don't have to agree with me. Few, few, sel seldom few do. Is that right? Is that how you say that? Few seldom do? Yeah, that. Also. All right, up next, the Kenzie pick of the week. Even though she's not here and can't speak for herself. I assume it is. Uh, issue number 16 of King Spawn. She just loves these, you know, spells. King Spawn. Issue number 16. Nice, nice covers these ones have. Hmm. Stand up, straight up. You can't even call that a floppy. All right, next up from DC, limited, no, it doesn't say limited series. Nope. Not limited series. Issue number two, we've got some really cool incentive covers actually for this one. Uh, and that. Uh, this is issue number two of The Joker, The Man Who Stopped Laughing. Got two covers and incentive. What's this one? Lieber Mayhoe's. Mm. Who what? Lieber Mayho. He's a great cover artist. But check this incentive out. It's amazing. Look at that. We've got a couple <laughs> copies of the this foil incentive, right? Yeah. Literally two. Literally two. A couple of them. So if you like that, if you like the Joker. Buy it. It's a good book, Scott says. Scott is, you know, Scott's really, since, he, since we opened this place, he's really broadened his horizons. He was before only reading like art house comics, if you will. And now it's like DC, Marvel, all day. Fill that box. Star Wars, whatever, give it to me. I'll read that too. Speaking of which, uh, from Marvel, we got issue number 10 of <coughs> Hulk. 
There's like a Planet Hulk situation going on, I guess. Yes, there's a new uh, Gamma character apparently in this one. Oh. Uh, beyond, like, here's a Hulk with the Beyond Amazing Ooh. variant. Well, because why not, you know? Beyond the days that they should have come out. Starship Hulk, Hulk. landed on Planet Hulk? I think so, yeah. Is it Planet Hulk? Is that what you call it? Yeah, because there's a, I believe, an Empress of the Hulk planet. I can't wait to find out who he's um, hulking down with, if you know what I'm saying. For that little giveaway at the end of Shulk. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Is it is it past spoiler season on that one? Uh, let's leave it. It's for not much of a spoiler. It doesn't it, have anything to do with the story. True, um, but that's kind of the joke. Oh. <laughs> this next one I read. This was the the favorite of the ones that I read today, and I'm gonna I'm gonna guess that Scott's gonna like this one too. Uh, this is number one from Image, called Hell to Pay. I read this one today. It was really fun. It was like. It's like, I don't know how to explain it without giving stuff away. I don't know. It was really good. It's like if Harry Potter had student loans. Yeah, kind of. Also, there's like hell and demons and people hunting stuff and like collectors of things. I don't know. It was cool. Are you going to read this one? Writer of 8 Billion Genies. Oh, the Writer of 8 Billion Genies. That's yeah. why I liked it so much. And Undiscovered Country. And Undiscovered Country. Well, hell to pay. Issue number one. I'm down. Like I said, it's my favorite. I was even gonna pick that up, and Chaz was like, here, check this out. And so I did it. Oh, and we got an incentive cover, which is dope. And you know what this is a play on, don't you? It's an Army of Darkness uh, riff, right? Yeah. Look at that. Super dope. What is this, uh, one in 10? Yep. This thing's like 10 bucks. This is gonna be worth something. Right, Scott? Right in my box. Right. Let's go to Rain Scott's box. Don't even try to think about it. Don't even try to think about it. It's no. gone. It's been sold. Uh, all right. Next up, back to things that people don't care about. <laughs> That's not true. That's not true. I'm kidding. Uh, from Mar oh, dude, that cover is sick. Yeah, I know. So sick. Uh, all right. Next up from Marvel, issue number one: Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. I guess they're like going back to Earth. Or something. Star Lord's gotta do something. New mixtape. New mixtape. Hopefully. I am curious about the um, the uh, holiday special. Holiday special. It looks like stupid in all the right ways. Health pay incentive. I'm calling it. Save it for me. You're gonna have to. Well, all right. There might be a battle. We'll who, see. Who is that? Uh, Hermit monster. All right. Next up. Oh. Nope. I will skip one. All right. Next up. Issue number two from DC. This is Gotham City Year One. Is Scott, you reading this one? I did read that one. How was it? It was fantastic. Fantastic. Great it art, says. great writing. Tom King, has, what else has he done? Human Target, Human a Target. lot of Batman. Uh, Love Everlasting. Love Everlasting, yeah. Scott, someone is challenging you a fight to the death for that health pay cover. But Herman? Yeah. It's all his. It's all yours, he says. Gave, you rolled over just like that. It's a concussion. It's got, it's got that soft belly. You rolled over just like that. You see what it, all it takes is a, a challenge of a fight to the death. Rolled over. I'm super lazy. Super lazy he is. <laughs> anyway, Gotham City Year One, book two. From DC. He dang, rolled right over. All right, next up, this is issue four of, uh, four or five, there's still more. That ultimate. An ultimate, if you will. I actually gave up after issue two because I was like, this is boring as hell. And then I didn't read issue three, and then I heard it got worse. Oh, yeah, giving up. So we all gave up. Uh, so but you shouldn't. But you shouldn't. Well, please buy it. Uh, this is from Image, issue number four of five of Golden Rage. Could end fantastic. It could end really well. You know, who knows? This is a cool cover, though. So at least they did something right. It's a very cool cover. It's a very cool cover. What do you call this kind of cover? Bitchin'. Bitchin'. <laughs> this one's a little effed up though. But whatever, no one's gonna buy it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, someone will buy it. Golden Rage, issue four or five. 
Maybe they're still walking somewhere. <laughs> All right, next up, I'm excited about this next one. I read the first issue. It was real fun. Uh, this one is called, from IDW, this is Earth Divers Kill Columbus, issue two. Basically, people from the future go back in time to kill Christopher Columbus to stop something from happening. The apocalypse or something like that. Uh, cool. It was cool. I liked it. You liked it, right, Scott? Fair. I mean, he recommended it to me. I knew he liked it. I was just vamping. We got a bunch of cool covers. Is this Rip? Is this? That's not Columbus, right? Well, I don't think so. That's Col Columbus is ripped. I think that's the guy who I think that's, back. yeah, that's the guy that went back in time. Super cool. Definitely recommend picking this up. I think we've got some issue ones left still. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Please Maybe. So. Maybe. Anyway, it's a good book. Good, good book this one is. Earth Divers. Kill Columbus. All right, next up. Key comic, I assume. Yep. This one's from Marvel. I'm on the fence about checking this one out. Just do it. I might. I just have a lot to read. I have a lot on my plate. I've got a lot of responsibilities. Oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? I've got a lot of things to do. I have no time for fun. Uh, from Marvel, issue number one of Deadpool. Fine, I'll read it. Just read it. God. The people want to know. I'll read it. Fine. We've got one, two, three, four, five covers and incentive. There's this one. Scotty, which one's the best cover? Oh, I think I know. Oh, Scotty loves a Rob Liefeld. Oh, no. Which one's that? Is that this one? No, that's that one. Oh, this one? Isn't it? Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, we got a, um, a, um, a mini blind variant or whatever it's called. Mini blind? <laughs> a Venetian blind variant. This is the, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah. Nice. I can pull a cover for Scott. I know what's up. And then we got this uh, one in 10? 20, 25. 125 variant? Pretty cool. So, it's pretty cool. What's going on with, with this? It's just Deadpool. It's just Deadpool being Deadpool. New ongoing series. Uh, I forget what the creative team's from, but fairly established writing. Okay, I'll take it. Why not? I've never read a Deadpool. I'm sure it's fun. Big, big hit that character is. All right, next up from DC. From DC, issue 8 of 12 of the limited series Dark Knights of Steel. Dark Knights of Steel. We've got two covers. Scott, you read Dark Knights of Steel? Maybe. Someone's reading it. I think Lucas and Kenzie are reading it. I don't know. Dark Knights of Steel. Who knows what's going on there? They got swords. The bit I read was pretty good, but I don't, I don't, I couldn't tell you what's currently happening. They got swords. Oh, they got swords. This next one. Whew. <laughs> what to say about this next one? From Marvel, issue number three. Damage control. This is really good if you're like six years old, right? I read. Eighty-seven. Did you read it? No. I, I read issue number one, I said. Not for me. It's for somebody, though. Oh. Sure. So, to answer, there are some questions about who's who's writing Deadpool. Yeah. The creative team on Deadpool is Alyssa Wong, who's been writing Dr. Afra and Iron Fist, and the artist is Martin Cocolo, who was the artist for Banner of War. Okay. Anyway, damage control issue three. Get really hot. Did you pull a um, how to pay for Nicole? Because she's going to want that one. That's a good one. That's a Scotty question. She didn't ask for it, but she should get it. Uh, all right, next up. Nicole's here. She was asking about Alyssa Wong. I see it. I didn't read this one. And I wasn't entirely sure what was going on with this one. You're going to have to explain it to me. This is like old uh, stories? Uh, I believe these are like... New takes on old, older stories. Issue number one, cross-gen tales. This one's a thick daddy. Look at that. That's a thick daddy right there. A lot of bang for your buck with this one. Look at all those pages. My God. Cross-gen tales, issue number one. It's like a bunch of different stories. 
Yeah, it's a bunch of different, like, almost... Um, but they're reprints, are they not? I believe they are. From they're all kind of like... They're not all from 2000. Either. From what I read, I think they're all from 2000. In the thing it says, blah, 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 2000. Um, they're mostly from 2000 and 2001. Oh, I stand corrected. Anyway, Crush and Tales, issue number one. Oh! Lots of, lots of fantasy, That's lots of... That's uh, daddy stack. Good God. I know. I hope you did some raps before picking that up. Whew. All right. Next up, Dark Horse. This is the grand finale. Uh, issue number four of four. Count Crowley, amateur midnight monster hunter. Is this the one that we're getting the trade paperback of? No. And we may or may not be doing a signing yep. of? On November 26th? Am I supposed to say anything? I think you can. All right, well, we're gonna do a signing with uh, Mr. Polka Dot Man himself. David. David. And it's gonna be a big, big, uh, big fun thing we're gonna do for Small Business Saturday. More to come on that later. Anyway, Count Crowley, issue four or four. You read this? No. It's something I am, I'm definitely gonna read before we do the signing, but I'm interested in, for sure. Very curious. Yeah, curious, sir, and curious, sir, I am. All right, from Marvel, issue number 43, of uh, Captain Marvel, issue number 43, it says, Revenge of the Brood, part one. Revenge of the Brood, part one. Look at this extreme variant. Yeah, Extreme Excellence is going to be coming back, written by Chris Claremont again. Oh, Extreme. This is a cool cover. DeVille? Is that what it says? Is that what it says? I believe so. Yeah, Lavila? Here's DeVille. DeVille. It's a cool cover. They're still slamming Mountain Dews. Huh? They're still slamming Mountain Dews. Getting real extreme. <laughs> <laughs> extreme variant! I was quoting um, Idiocracy the other day in the shop, and there, I realized there's people out there who haven't seen it. Extreme! <laughs> Electrolytes! It's what plants crave! Uh, anyway, next up, oh, this is Scott Roberts' thing. Start of a new arc! Joan of Arc, issue number six from Image Comics. Really good covers. Maybe the best covers of the week. Always. 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 Uh, Bloodstained Teeth. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good cover. They're actually both equally pretty good. Scotty, Sophie's Choice. Uh, version of B cover. B cover. Scott says B cover. Scott always goes with a B cover? No. No, always. Scott, more often than not, goes with B cover? No, time after time, time is always A cover. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Slanders. Speaking of time after time, I read Forever Forward. That issue was good. Gives me big, um, gives me big uh, Paper Girls energy in a good, good way, I guess. Also time traveling, but you know, with adults. Uh, all right, next up, issue number eleven, Black Panther. Oh, you guys were so close. We'll cut it forever. One more week. One more week and we'll be there. I can't wait. Ooh, I can't wait. This is another extreme variant. Look at this guy. Look at that Black Panther. Oh my god. Look at how many guns he has. Whoa. Who does he think he is? Punisher? So extreme. He's extreme. All right, Black Panther, issue number 11. <laughs> okay. Next up, this is a one shot. From Opus, this also has some very good variants, which I'm all about. Uh, Bill and Ted present Death. So one shot with the character of Death, as you are all familiar. Uh, we got two. This variant is or this uh, incentive cover is very cool. What is this? Uh, one in what is it? One in what? One in five. Ooh, one in five. It's very cool. We got two of them. Bloop. Anyway, Bill and Ted present Death. You think Keanu Neal's about that one? No. Got it. <laughs> All right. Next up, I read this one. This is definitely a Scott Roberts pick of the week. Issue number one. 
from our good friends at Red Boom Studios, from the writer of Something Scaly and Children, huh? House of Slaughter. House of Slaughter, yeah. same thing. Uh, Behold, Behemoth, issue number one. We've got three covers here. I forget what this is happening here. It was my second favorite of the things I read, but not my first favorite. Huh? Guy with nightmares on a mythical ancient Yeah. That cover? Jeff Lemire. Jeff Lemire. There you go. Same with this one? No. So, Virgin cover? Uh, that's an FOC reveal cover. FOC reveal cover. It's still Virgin, though. Yes. There's not any words on it. Anyway. This is issue number one. Behold, behemoth. Say that ten times fast. Look forward to it, Scott says. Next up, I'm reading this one too. Oh, you know what? I skipped over this incentive kind of card. Oops. Uh, Behold, behemoth. One in something. Uh, that's a one per store. Ooh, a one per store. This Ooh. is a good one. See that one? Oh, God says, oh, what the store? Okay. Anyway, next up, I'm excited about this one. Oh, no, you put a thing in there. Um, we've got a bunch of copies of it from superstar writer Chip Zdarsky. We got issue 129 of Batman. Issue 129 of Batman. Up against Failsafe? Is that the name? Yep. Yeah, we got three covers here and an incentive. There's this one, Cardstock. Pretty cool. Oh yeah, this is the one where he's awoken some entity inside of himself to battle failsafe. I think those are our last variant covers. These are are these variants? Yeah. Oh, sorry, I thought you meant incentive. Yeah, there you go. You're right. We only got two copies of the variant and then a bunch of the main cover. And then check this puppy out. Check that check out this set, sick puppy. Get somebody call the vet! Because this puppy is sick. Oh no! <laughs> Everyone just passed out. It's pretty cool. This one and the Joker one together, forever, in holy matrimony. In someone's Speaking shelf. Of. Speaking of. Speaking of. Speaking of. And incentive. Forever. And no. forever. Oh. Speaking of forever. <laughs> you, can't no. just, you can't segue no. me like that no. without any warning. Speaking of Batman and Joker forever. Oh, Jesus. See, this is why. <laughs> God, you can't confuse me like Just yes and me. God. Okay, whatever. Anyway, up next from DC, <laughs> book one of seven, Batman and the Joker, the Deadly Duo. Batman and the Joker, the Deadly Duo, book number one, DC Black Label. We got three covers. Wait, you gotta give me the variant there. You buried it. I did. For the incentive. Mm. Comics legend oh. Mark Silvestri. Oh, uh, comics legend who? Mark Silvestri. Mark Silvestri. What's he done? Hmm. <laughs> change, change the face of comic books by creating image comics. Oh, change the face of comic books by creating image comics. You say. I knew that. Writing and drawing. Writing and drawing. Yeah, I knew that. Oh, he's doing this? Yeah. Oh, yeah, so it's right there. Cool. Batman and the Joker. The deadly duo. All right, next up, speaking of forever, which is what you said, which is why I thought this was next, because the other one doesn't even have forever in the title. This one is issue number 10 of Avengers Forever. Something about a teeny tiny Iron Man with a oh. very large alcohol problem. <laughs> That's, see, it? see the cover there? That's what I gathered from the synopses I read. We got this one. Who's this? Oh, it's a scroll. It's a scroll. Oh, it's a scroll? It's not a scroll variant. It might be super scroll. Oh, okay. Uh, then we got a dual variant. This is the only dual variant we have of the night, I think. I think so. Okay, why not? Well, Wanda. One, one to Maximoff. Anyway, Avengers Forever. We got two more, two more single issues to go, y'all. Two more. First up, 
we've got issue number four of No Clue, ongoing series. Astronaut Down. You reading Astronaut Down, Scott? Behind on it, but yes. Behind on it, but yes. That's um, what Scott can say for most anything in the store. Are you reading that? Oh, oh, this is a different comic. I just skipped right ahead. You? Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Astronaut Down, issue four. There's that. I'm a, I'm a red hot mess tonight. All right, next up from Image. <laughs> Spoilers. Antioch. Scott's also reading this one, yeah? Yeah, Oh, writer of Shirtless Bear Fighter, though, yes? Writer of Frontiers. Frontiers, man. My bad. Same diff. Antioch. Super villain, max security prison, blah, blah, blah. Lead singer of Drug Church. Uh, all right, that's it for the single issues. Let's go through all of the trades. Utes. First up, we got some Ute, Ute titles. We got Minecraft, Open World, not sure what that's about. We got Stranger Things, Young Adult Book Set, Box Set of Books, cool. We got Stranger Things and Dungeons and Dragons, of course. Front back. We got a bunch of front seat back seats here. This one's in plastic, what does that mean? Parental advisory, okay. Yeah. I can't even say this one. Berserk. Berserk. All right. Uh, this was the inspiration for things like Dark Souls, um, Elden Ring, Bloodborne. Bloodborne. All right, cool. Uh, this one's uh, already in Scott's box. Don't punch, man. This is also the last one. This is the last one, Benjamin? Nope. Sorry. Berserk, it's the last. Catch up. <laughs> then we got The Witcher, Ronin, front seat, back seat. <laughs> All right. Oh, a little ditty from our friends. This is Critical Role Vox Machina Origins. Trade paperback, what is this, volume what? Three, volume three. Then we got Hell Cop. Hell Cop. Volume two. Volume two. Godzilla versus Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Ooh, this was a big, big hit, this one. Big, big hit. Mezzo. Ooh, we got a restock at something killing the children, volume one. Very good, definitely pick it up. Oh my God, this is the heaviest book I've ever left in. Invisible Kingdom. Hardcover, super heavy, good job. All right, Adventure Man, volume two, shiny. Oh yeah, this one I saw Henry and Glenn forever and ever. I'm not sure what it's about, but I like its style. All right, oh, this would be cool. MK Ultra, Sex, Drugs, and the CIA, volume two. Definitely eat your mushroom gummies and read that. All right, incredible science fiction tales from EC Comics. Ooh. Extreme X-Men, do the do. And then this, which I was told was not in the system yet, but Holly Jolly. It's cool, it's like old and tiny Christmas stuff. See? Holly Jolly. And then, last but not least, I wanna show a couple of these cool ass toys we just got in. Sure to be a big hit. We got uh, from NECA, Universal Monsters, TMNT, The Mummy. Look how cool this is. Can you see that? Super cool. We had Frankenstein in a couple months ago. This one though, this is the chase right here. Bride of Frankenstein. Ooh, check her out. April O'Neil. Bride of Frankenstein. Big, big hit. All right, that's it. We did the damn thing. So if you aren't already a Pollbox member, go ahead and send us an email at pollbox at revengeof.com. We'll get you all signed up. You can buy all these things and more at revengeof.com. You can also pop in the store and say hello and whatever and talk to Lucas. And Maybe talk to Scott if you're coming on a Sunday. Whatever you want to do. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. And as always, we will see you next Tuesday.